guys, Natalie Demino. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you do not know who I am, I'm a Roman Catholic YouTuber and I do YouTube videos on all things Catholicism. So if you're Protestant, Catholic, or whoever you are, you're welcome here. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the three days of darkness, what it is, how to prepare for it, is this even something we need to believe in, all of that, anything that you want to know about the three days of darkness, I am going to be covering here today. But before I get into today's video, I want to make sure you guys like and subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell. It's the little bell next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified when I post. And also make sure to go follow me over on Instagram at Natalie underscore Domina so that you get more Catholic content on the daily. So let's just get in with today's video. So the three days of darkness is most easily defined as three days of supernatural darkness where there will be a three-day like judging period of the earth where darkness will be flowered all over the earth that is unexplainable through just the human reason and scientific reason now you may be wondering is this even biblical church doctrine how to like what am i supposed to do with this like okay but where do you get this information i answer that that this is a private revelation it is like a prophecy like a modern day prophecy um, that we have from some s blessed even some saints have kind of reference to this we have just other like prophetic mystic people that have said stuff on this but none of this is like church doctrine and I just want to like put that out here because I'm not even sure like my beliefs on this I mean better to be safe than sorry I guess but I mean, you do not have to believe this. The church has said nothing on this topic because it's not something you have to believe in. These are just like private revelations. So you research and I really advise you guys to research. You should be researching everything that I talk about because I am just a Catholic layperson and there's much more information out there. I just look at what I look at and then you guys can decipher and use me as a resource, but I'm not the end all be all. So you guys go make what you think of all this um, in your own time, but I'm just going to be sharing some historical evidence and things for this. And yeah, if you guys have other opinions on this, I mean, comment them down below. Let's all be charitable. But yeah, I just wanted to say that. So one of these private revelations actually comes from a blessed that I'm going to actually read the quote for you guys. It's a bit lengthy, but it's from Blessed Anna Maria Tahigi, Tahigi, not really sure how to say her name, but she says, there shall come over the whole earth an intense darkness lasting three days and three nights. Nothing can be seen and the air will be laden with pestilence, which will claim mainly, but not only the enemies of religion. It will be impossible to use any man-made lighting during his, this darkness except blessed candles. He who out of curiosity opens his window to look out or leaves his home will fall dead on the spot. During these three days, people should remain in their homes, pray the rosary and beg God for mercy. All the enemies of the church, whether known or unknown, will perish over the whole earth during the universal darkness, with the exception of a few whom God will soon convert. The air shall be infected by demons who will appear under all sorts of hideous forms. This quote is actually quite interesting because you could read this and be like, okay, yeah, like let's start preparing, let's do this stuff. But there are many historians that are saying that this quote actually may never have been written. It's said to have been written in a story by this blessed, like in a journal of hers, but no one can actually find the evidence for this. So we're not really sure where we got this quote. Um, so you could take this and be like, okay, I'm gonna prepare. Or you could be like, well, this isn't actually true. There's no evidence for this. So who came up with this quote? So. That's just a little piece of evidence you can weigh it either way and be like, this is true, I should prepare, or there's no proof, I don't need to. You guys do with that what you will. Another mystic by the name of Marie Julie Jahini is said to have claimed that the candles not only have to be blessed, but they have to be 100% beeswax. I'm not really sure why that is, but 100% natural beeswax. So if you guys do want to prepare for this, that is something that is said. That's not by a blessed or a saint or anything, that's just by a mystic. So yeah, that's another little like tidbit into it. Some people say that other people have like spoken about this, I believe like Padre Pio, but we can't find evidence on that either. So it's kind of very like not evidence-based if that's what you're looking for. But there have been some private revelations, which God can do private revelations, right? Like people get private revelations all the time and great things and conversions happen. So, but we don't really know if these actually 
were private revelations. Like people could just be saying these were private revelations, but that this someone just made up this stuff. So that's something else that you could look into. Um, is just look into who, the, who these people are and how they were private revelations or what happened. There are also some biblical references that people tend to use when talking about this topic. They tend to reference Exodus, a lot of things in the Old Testament, which is great, um, obviously, but it is in the Old Testament, meaning that these like foreshadowings already happened. So if you're gonna reference that there's gonna be a three days of darkness and you find it in the Old Testament, it's like, well, because that's talking about a past event. So it's not foreshadowing something like Revelation might be. And there are some things in Revelation that could hint to this, but it's just not so like clear cut, like that it's about three days. Like it just kind of talks about darkness in general or something. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint, yeah, this is where God reveals this um, or that any saints like have clearly spoken about it where we have like, evidence or that like Mary has come down and spoke about it. But I believe that the general message of the three days of darkness is very important and that it's really trying to just cl claim this, which I believe we all should be doing. Um, I believe this message is for all Christians, Catholics, everyone, honestly. Um, it's that we are a people in need and we are a people that should be preparing our hearts to receive God to well enter into his glory we should be preparing for that every step every second of our lives because we never know when our last breath is going to be so the message of the three days of darkness is really just to prepare and to be like well we don't want to be taken out of our homes we don't want to cease from being exist exist in existence <laughs> we don't want darkness to overcome us so the main message of the three days of darkness though is just to be prepared god talks to us about this all the time so be prepared um, ready your hearts, your bodies, your minds, your spirits, your souls, everything so that you are able to receive Christ, which we all should be believing in that. And that is something we believe in. Now, if you want to believe in the three days of darkness, cool. If you don't, that's also cool. But the main message we all should be believing in, in the fact that we have to ready and prepare our hearts for the second coming of Christ and for when we go have our own personal judgment day with Christ. And God gives us many ways to prepare to enter into his heavenly kingdom First, we need to be in a state of grace. So go to confession regularly, receive the sacraments, receive the Eucharist. We should do penance for our sins, um, abstain from meat or any other pleasure on Fridays. Things that the church has just taught us to do. We should be asking for a conversion in our lives and striving for that conversion. And so those are just practical ways that we can prepare um, for the three days of darkness or for any the second coming of Christ or our death day. So anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. Don't forget to like this video down below. And yeah, I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. St. Padre Pio, pray for us. Have a blessed day, y'all.